Hello and what's up my friends, it's Thunderbob here, and tonight we are going to jump into Elden Ring Shadow of the Erd Tree. This just released about an hour ago, and I'm very excited to give this a try. Uh, I am, just like all of you, playing this for the first time. I don't have any pre-knowledge on this. I basically just googled where to start to make sure I knew where to begin the expansion. Uh, the rest of this is just going to be me bumbling through maybe the first hour or two of the expansion. Uh, you will notice I am running this in ultra-wide. Uh, I am using flawless widescreen, and you can check out my previous video if you want to know how to get this running. The other nice feature is you can run this at higher than uh, 60 FPS. I'm running this on 144 hertz monitor, and uh, pretty close to that with the settings I've got it uh, at right now. Uh, we're going to just jump in and check out the beginning of this. If you're curious, you actually start this in the area that you defeated uh, Moog, the Lord of Blood. You come to that cocoon that was there. Uh, that you couldn't really do anything with, and I guess you interact with that, and that's what starts the expansion. You also need to have defeated Radon. Um, you don't necessarily have to have beaten the entirety of the base game, but you do need to beat those two bosses, which are, you know, mid to deep into the game. Uh, Moog, actually, you can avoid and beat kind of post-game, if I remember correctly. So, this expansion, I guess, is pretty deep. I'm level 188 here. I think they recommended around a level 150 minimum. I'm probably a little overpowered, but uh, we're just going to jump in and see how this goes. So I see there's a dude here. Let's let's go ahead and see what he has to say. Ah, were you guided here by kindly Mikula? I am Leda. And like you, I was guided by Faith along his honorable path. Touch the withered arm, and you too will be transported to the realm of shadow where Mikula the kind now dwells. My compatriots are there already. Like us, they have heard kindly Mikula's call. If you can find them, they are certain to lend you aid. And you'll notice um, with that flawless widescreen, like during cutscenes, it gets a little funky sometimes. It had like like a, almost like a bar on the edges there. Um, you can adjust some of the settings. Like I turn the vignetting all the way down and it makes the darkening of the edge of the screen go away. Uh, you kind of just play around with those settings if you're trying to get Ultra Red running. But uh, I unlocked the frames, uh, the FPS. Uh, I left the FOV almost the same because basically this is just the normal way you play with the camera extended to the sides. I don't really like it pulled out much further than that. And um, the turn off the vignetting. Yeah, that's about where I'm at right now. Let's go ahead and do this thing. I'm afraid it's a really big hand. You'll notice, like, in the loading screens, it's not blanking out the side of the screen, so it looks a little funky, but in the actual gameplay, it's fine. And uh, I, I hate playing with the, the black bars. It's It sucks. The only um, bad thing is when you're playing with the uh, flawless widescreen or any of the ultra-wide uh, mods, you can't play online, so I will not be having any online, you know, calling people in. Wow, this looks really cool. These gravestones over here. Oh, this is like that screenshot. Like the first screenshot they put out was of was it McQuilla uh, running across, uh, riding across the hillside here on her on her horse. Let's go ahead and grab the brace spot. And it's pretty much a uh, blank slate right now. I do see, isn't that one of those things that reveal the map for you? I probably maybe want to maybe want to start there. Again, uh, this is me touching this for the first time. I really have even tried to avoid spoilers. I, I haven't read any of the reviews. I only watched like the initial trailer. Oh, look at that big guy over there. I wonder if that's a boss. I don't know if I want to start there. Go ahead and call our little trusty steed in. It's just like beautiful. I was wondering if that was alive. Should I fight it? I've, I've kind of got my setup here. Uh, Alright, let's get off the steed. Burn! 
I just want to see. I was using this build because I was farming, and uh, that is like one of the best farming abilities in the game. It's not necessarily great for combat all the time. Like if there's lots of weak enemies, I think it's really useful. Uh, but I'll probably just keep this on for the moment and then switch it out when we get to some actual kind of boss fights. God, it looks so beautiful. I don't know if that's just skybox or if I can eventually get to all all of that in the distance, but damn, on ultra wide. It looks nice. It looks very nice, people. Uh, I played this at release. Um, really hardcore. I beat it. I don't know, a couple weeks after release, probably. But this was, like, the game I played once I started it. And that's probably how this is going to go, too. Um, what is that up there? That looks... Unfriendly. Get off me, bro. I died. I died already. I was like, uh, I couldn't roll there for a second. Alright, it's cool. It's cool. We got the, we got the thing right there. I'm just kind of messing around. I should probably switch my weapons, though. Yeah, so I'm using the Sacred Relic Sword. I had... Um, a number of weapons I was kind of cycling through. I really like the Blasphemous Blade also, just for, like, straight-up uh, combat, not as much for its special ability. Um, what else did I level up? I'm, like, going back through this, because I haven't played, like, hardcore, other than, like, booting this up on the Steam Deck just to make sure it was still working in a couple months here. So it's, like, coming back. I got the Godslayer Seal up to plus 25... I also used, um, yeah, the Golden Halibred I leveled up. I really like that weapon quite a lot, but that was more like the first half of the game. Let's see. I think I'll use that. Uh, I'm just trying to remember if there's anything else that I had leveled up. Oh, yeah, the Star... The, uh, star uh, Scourge Greatsword from Radon. I really liked that, and its special is really nice. I'll probably use this. Um, and then, if, uh, let's see. Yeah, that's got a cool ability on it, too. It's also, if I remember correctly, it has a nice um, lifesteal on it. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Yeah, simple view. Did it not? It, it did have some lifesteal, if I remember correctly. Alright, we're gonna try with the Blasphemous Blade here. I wish this game supported DLSS. That's maybe the only tech thing, other than obviously the ultra wide that is not supported out of the box. I don't know if I'm going to be able to hit this with the... Oh, it did, okay. Oh, it's got a range attack, too. I did not know that. Dude, hits pretty hard. Oh, it's got a block, too. Okay. First enemy... Well, second enemy... Dead. It only took half my health. I feel like I should have replayed this game in like the last month. I kind of wanted to, but I was traveling. We went to Colorado, and I actually just got back a couple of days ago. So it's been uh, it's been a crazy couple couple two weeks visiting some family. So I wish I would have had time to uh, to replay, make a whole new character, because it's like it's hard after beating the game. You know, two years ago at release, and then kind of just off and on since then. You... Okay. Okay. 
All right, we, we've got a bigger map here. I'm assuming it's going to pull back just like the base game, like the base game um, kept getting bigger and bigger. But I also know this this expansion is supposed to be about the size of Limgrave from what I've read. I guess I can get rid of the... Uh... Mesmer in his lot. Okay. Yeah, Mesmer's kind of a dick, I guess. I'm like, I'm curious, is every enemy... Okay. No, some of these guys I'm one-shotting still. I like the heal on this weapon a lot, and it, unless they changed it, um, if you used a spell or anything, as long as you had this weapon equipped, you would get the healing. So it's really nice just for, like, I think the main reason I would use this um, is so I don't spam my potions non-stop and end up... Uh, I think I wasn't even attacking me. My dick. Um, it, it really gives you a bit more longevity on how long you can stay out there between resetting uh, the enemies. You also, you don't get it till pretty late into the game. But when you do, I use this thing for a long time. Until this, I was using the golden, um, the one you get from the Tree Sentinel, which I really liked also. I, I play through probably half the game uh, ooh, with, uh, with the Tree Sentinel's spear pike thing. It's the Golden golden Halibred, is that what it was called? I don't know what any of this stuff does yet. It, it's kind of like, I played that original game so much, that you eventually just know what everything is, what everything does, and like coming into this kind of blind is kind of exciting. You know, like... I just want to, like, check out everything. I want to look around every corner. I want to find every little secret. Like, there's got to be something over here. What is that? More of the guys. I'm, I'm wondering how hard these guys hit, because they've not managed to hit me yet. I am sad that I died in, like, the first 30 seconds. These butterflies are interesting. Oh, you can pick up. I did not realize those were lootable. Drop down there and grab them. I can also use my, uh, I think like the Mimic tier uh, equipped at the moment, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Plus some, some uh, wolves I was using. I like the wolves because they summoned multiple of them. They were good like tanks. But I mostly use the Mimic. Um, gives you a kind of a duplicate of yourself. I'm wondering if there's going to be a boss around here because of the fact that uh, you can use your your summon. Usually that means there's a boss. That kind of looks like a boss right there. And this is the Land of Shadow. I notice a lot of these enemies kind of uh, shadow-esque. You know, uh, after I played through Elden Ring, like maybe six months ago, I played through the uh, Demon Souls remake, and that's the first time I had never played the original Demon Souls, and uh, I definitely enjoyed it. I did a review actually on the channel. If you're curious, check that out. I'm pretty proud of that review. I thought it came together pretty well. He's, he's throwing shit at me. Just keep that healing coming. Uh, Demon Souls, pretty good. I definitely can see, um, you know, it was the first from software, Bloodborne, uh, excuse me, um, Dark, Dark Souls kind of game, and um, 
it definitely it, there's some growing pains there like the the basics are all there um but it was definitely it was refined and to re, you know kind of improved over time uh, i still really enjoyed the remake and looking at how close the original was i probably would have enjoyed the original back in time is this going to be a real chest Blade of mercy is that a new weapon i think there's a new symbol when you pick up uh, new items Here is the Bleed of Mercy. Is there some way just to show me my new stuff? I got so many things. I'm assuming it, it looked like a dagger from the split second I looked at it there. I'm not seeing it. Was it not a... Where is it? I didn't see it unless I missed it. I get a lot of stuff in my inventory. Okay, we'll keep moving. I also, I need to mess with the magic more. I, If I would have um, replayed through the game, I probably would have made a, a magic user because I feel like that was the thing I really didn't play around with anywhere near enough. Get up any higher. I don't think I can. Alright. I think we're gonna go make an attempt at the uh, boss looking guy. I think I gotta go around again. Like I've cleared this little area decently. I gotta. Whatever that was at the top that I can't find in my inventory because got too many goddamn weapons. And this looks like it could be the first boss. So. I, I can summon the guys there, and then when I rock forward, I can't. That's interesting. Nope. Nope, no, I can't again. There's like a spot. A dead spot. Alright, I got a second grace here. Do I want to reset everything? I'm still pretty full on my health here. Uh, let's go for this big thing. I'm assuming it's a boss here. Should I maybe... Should I just go for it? Should I clear out the guys in the way first? We're just gonna go for it. We're gonna go guns blazing. Oh, he sees me. Oh, crap. That is a spectacular first boss. Ow! I have no idea. Should I just be stabbing its feet? I wonder if... Oh! Oh! He just, like, one-shot me. Well, two shots, technically. Okay. Okay. Um, how do you even... It's kind of like fighting the fire giant. And I apologize for dying on the video, but uh, this is my first go at this boss. Haven't seen any videos on it. I'm going to try this again. I want to try to use um, my ranged uh, attack. See if the flame... I saw a thing over here. Is this it's just my, my runes? Oh god. Oh, that doesn't really hurt too bad. Oh, no, no. I was mistaken. It really does hurt. Get up, get up. Oh, shit. I am almost dead already. Yep, I'm dead. I wonder if this is the new tree sentinel, where like you're not really intended to immediately engage, but rather come back when you... I know that there's supposed to be some kind of new progression system here, and I'm wondering, are you supposed to 
unlock some of that to reduce the damage, increased damage you're dealing kind of thing. And then I'm going to try one more time and then I may just bounce around him. I also see a thing over there. It's really hard to see how you could dodge all that. Like, like it seems... I'm sprinting, and there's just no way I could avoid that. And look, like, before I even get up... Yeah, that sucks. Okay, okay. Alright, Mr. Uh, Fire... Razor looking person. That's not cool. Okay, so I had like five additional attempts that I'm probably just going to cut from the video. I, I'm i pretty sure that this guy is um, you know, like the Tree Sentinel. And uh, I noticed here, if you go to the site of Grace, uh, Shadow Realm Blessings, which I'm assuming this is like upgrading your character and this one is probably upgrading your spirit. Um, and I did a quick Google, and it seems like there that is some kind of meta upgrade where uh, it's only applicable in the expansion. Like, if you come in here, it tells you... Um, I don't have enough, but uh, when I first popped it open, it said, like, these blessings are only for the Shadow Realm. But, so it seems like all the enemies here probably are way tuned up because you're coming into this super powerful and they want to hurt you. Um, and then you get those upgrades, and it's probably like a percentage, like uh, each one is, I don't know, 5 or 10% more damage or damage reduction, that kind of thing is my assumption here. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna bypass this guy for now, and then come back. I know. All your resentments linger yet. The raw stuff from which I shall surely forge. Curse upon the dastard Mesmer's head upon America's children, each and all. Okay. Uh, I just, I don't want to pound my head against the same enemy, you know, for an hour here. <coughs> so we're going to go exploring more. I did not know these guys could throw a skull at me. I still I have no idea what most of these materials do. I couldn't tell you what most of the materials in the base game did. Like, there's so many of them. I know, like, the upgrade materials. But there's so many things I pick up and I'd like, okay, what is this again? Where, where do I take this? What do I need? Who, what am I crafting? I kind of want to just, like, get on my steed and go exploring because... I think, like, the base game, some of these upgrade materials you can find just, like, in the, um, the overworld. So it's, like, worthwhile to kind of just explore before you take on. Plus, I just kind of want to see. I just want to, like, run around and find cool shit to start with. Yeah. There, that's exactly what I was just talking about. Revered Spirit Ash. Revered Spirit Ash can be found across the realm. Consume this ash and decide to grace to bolster your Beard Spirit Ash Blessing. The Revered Spirit Ash Blessing bolsters both summon spirits and spectral seed abilities to deal and negate damage, but has no influence outside the realm. So yeah, that's exactly what I was looking for. And look at that. It's like 10 feet, like you spawn like right over there. I, I just noticed, I thought when you came out, it was like kind of pushing you this way, but I think over here is more to explore. So I might just kind of run around the kind of the outside of this area come back up I have a feeling this is actually way bigger than oh yeah I I'm thinking you can get down there I'm not sure how yet but I think yeah
In these games, they always have so many secrets strewn about. Like, you really have to dig deep if you don't want to use a guide, which I... I mostly try to avoid, but like late in the game when I'm like, okay, I need X upgrade material and it's just, it's not anywhere to be found. That's usually um, when I, I'm like, all right, I'm just going to check a guide. Where can I find these three materials? That That's kind of, I keep missing pickup stuff. Like I didn't even see that there on the ground. So we're just going to run around for a minute, see what I can find. Those look like the little rats from Dune, you know, the Maudib. I love Dune, by the way. I wish there were more Dune games so I could cover them more. I guess I could cover the movies and the books. I need a new channel for that. You know, I don't. I fired like five arrows in my entire Elden Ring experience. What's this? There's just like a glowing sword here. Can I open the grave? I remember in the original, a lot of the graves would have like runes, but it seems like runes are not. Um, kind of the critical upgrade material here. It seems like you definitely need this this new uh, upgrade material. Oh shit, it keeps going. I haven't even like pushed the... I almost fell off there. Really haven't even pushed the map very far. What was that? Something screamed at me. I bet there'll be like an optimal... Like, are those the sound of the birds? That's kind of terrifying. Uh, I'm assuming they'll be like, here's an optimal starting guide for the expansion in like 24 hours. Here's how you can get 10 of the upgrade materials, like, before you fight a boss kind of thing. Um, and I, I could have gone down here, but I kind of, since that looks like it goes forever, I think I'm going to, like, wrap around the edges here. And that's, that's where I, I fought the giant and died, and then I might come back down. I also kind of want to jump into one of the dungeons, um, see what the dungeons are like, but I feel like I might need to get some of these these upgrades first. What's this? There's a thing up there. I just want to get up there. I thought this like looped around or something, but it doesn't. Or false wall? It feels like there should be something back here. This doesn't feel like kind of the type of, of walls that are usually false, though. I'm just not seeing any way to uh, get up there. Maybe if I go around. Again, it's simply a beautiful, beautiful game. Fog here is reminding me of like, uh, um, Shadow of the Colossus, Silent Hill or something, but it seems like more, it's not for performance, it's more for mood and atmosphere. More of those birds. Whoa, what are these? 
Are you my friend? You're not attacking me. We're gonna let you. We're gonna let you chill for the moment. Okay, that looks like a dungeon. Do I want to explore it? it? Might be the first dungeon, like the first little mini. Not not like a full blown legacy dungeon, but. And I, I still couldn't figure out how to get there yet. It seemed like there was... It seems like there should be a way to get up there. I'm just not seeing it yet. We're going to go in that dungeon. I just want to make sure if there's anything cool over here. I always like to hide things. He's dead. And if you want to look at my... Uh, my stat distribution... 50 Vigor, 30 Mine, 32 Endurance, 40 Strength, 37 Dex, 9 Intelligence, 60 Faith, 9 Arcane. And I couldn't tell you... All of this, as it's just two years ago when I originally did this character, but I remember I started out um, with the Golden Halibred, and I think that was Faith, Strength, Dex. Um, and I was kind of pushing Faith pretty hard with, with the various weapons I was using, like the uh, Blasphemous Blade is Faith, Dex, Strength, too. So this was like a good follow-up from that Golden Halibred, which was, uh, I think it was the same, if I remember right, if I could find it. Yeah, there it is. Strength, Dex, Faith, yeah. So I was using this for a long time, and then I switched to the Plasma Blade for the most part. Um, so I was going, like, Strength, Faith, and Dex as kind of my my final. Um, and then Vigor, I got to 40, and then I think I eventually got to 50 just for that extra health boost. A uh, decent amount of Endurance. And then I started getting Mind for the Mana, the FP. Uh... I probably need to bump up Intelligence and Arcane just so I can play around with more spells. Right now I'm definitely more Faith-based uh, spells, but kind of limits you to some extent. Let's see, what's in... I pressed the wrong button. Shit, it's already a boss. With like a rapid-fire bullshit thing. That does heal me each time, too. But I'm low on mana already. It's all my mana. But I got potions, but... Oh, you got a potion, too. Not cool, bro. Oh, shit! That was, a. Uh... I did not realize he was going to hit me that hard. I was kind of toying around with him a little bit. Alright, all right. we'll get it again. Black Gold Knight. Uh, yeah, we'll do the stake, so it should be right there. I didn't see that I could summon my Mimic tier either. Unless I, I didn't see the pop. That was one thing on that big um, Fire Giant. There was like spots you could and you couldn't summon it. It was very kind of awkward. So when I did those extra runs off the video, um, I should probably have my shield on too. Oh shit, it's gonna hit me, isn't it? That's a cool attack pattern. He hits hard.
Oh, he's gonna get a hit in. Shh, took that to the face. I'm gonna take again. Dodge! I forgot how long it takes to, to get your heal in. Come at me. I sidestepped. I think my PlayStation controller's, uh... My circle button is a little, uh... It's a little stuck. I'm pressing it a bunch of times right now. Alright, we got this. I know I can't summon my dude. Switched up. This really isn't for useful because I'm not defeating enemies. Can I throw anything else on that might? Ready to get the Earth Tree favor on. I can boost the HP. I guess let's. How much does that give me? It's like a couple hundred. Yeah, it's like 200 and something health. That's. It's not nothing. Let's go ahead and just top off because I'm probably not going to go through all those. gonna start out with this bullshit and then we're gonna get in his face get a couple hits in and I'm out of stamina back off back off shit he got all bolts off I thought I was gonna stun him before he started launching all right I think we know the strategy this time, though. At least to be cheesy. Should I change? I don't even remember what was in my flask. The nice thing is that that stuns him and knocks him down. So like, if I keep range, I can just spam this. It's kind of impossible for him to get out of it until I'm out of mana. He's probably gonna use his bow. Nope. He might. Yeah, it doesn't always. Um, It does not always successfully knock him down. I don't know what that's about. Oh shit. I wasted the animation there because I didn't have a potion. And he drank his potion too. I'm out of stamina. I think it's like if he rolls at the right moment, he can avoid it. Luckily, he's not doing that too often. He's got that bow, which can screw me up pretty bad. You know, that endurance and stuff, that range. That potion is super annoying, though. Alright, last mana potion. I better get him this time. I'm not above cheesing if I have to. At least not on like a little mini boss like this. That might be it. I got you, sucker. Alright, it's dead. Yeah. Alright, first quasi boss. I get some stuff. 
Great Sword of Solitude. Helm of Solitude, Armor of Solitude, Gauntlets of Solitude, Great of Solitude. I'll have to look at that. I, I'm using the uh, Radon set right now, which is... I just love the way it looks. I feel like most of the armor is more about the looks than the powers on them, because they really don't offer that much different between them. I just noticed, like, I'm seeing, like, a lot of... in the lighting there. I don't know if it's going to crop across in the video. It looks a little funky. Let's just... I turned the ray tracing down because I was having some weird kind of bugginess with it. Uh, most everything else is maxed or high, though. It just kind of looks like the shadows and lighting. I don't know if they turned the ray tracing off, maybe. I don't think the ray tracing really added much of anything to this game. Other than cutting my FPS in half. Alright, so we killed the boss, guys. Kinda. It's not, not like a main boss, but... Let's just look at the uh, stuff we got. Someone told me that there is like a tab for new stuff. But I, I couldn't find it when I was looking. Yeah, so that's cycling through... Maybe it's in the inventory? Switch view. Yeah, it's just the stuff on the side. Sort. Simple view. Oh, order of acquisition. Okay. Still... Everything looks like it, it did. Is that what I picked up? Is that the knife? I couldn't find earlier? Might be. Yeah, there's the Great Sword of Solitude, so 120 damage. Let's compare it to Blasphemous Blade. This is plus 10 though, so I'd have to upgrade it, but it's a Strength Dex BE. I mean, with plus 10, obviously, that's doing way more damage. Plus the extra fire damage on it. Might have to look at the, the end stats on it, but I don't see myself using it. Uh, let's look at... Where's that new set? Home of Solitude, okay. So... Uh, it's like my magic goes down, but my fire, lightning, holy versus strike. It looks heavier than Radon's, though. Yeah, a couple pounds heavier. I get a little bit more poise. Might keep Radon's for the moment. Alright, so let's keep exploring here. I'm going to try to keep this video to about an hour or so. For my, my initial playthrough. And, and I don't know, I'm not, probably not going to stream like every moment of my playthrough. Uh, but I might try to do kind of like the highlights um, over a couple of videos. The cool stuff I see. I'll also probably be playing this at least some of the time on the Steam Deck. Which, if you have one, Elden Ring is it's awesome on the Steam Deck. It's just... Makes it so much fun to be able to play this portably. Um, we're going to go and see if I can go in this downward area over here. I didn't notice there was like a tower over there. I didn't get to the top of that tower, did I? I wonder if I can. I didn't see a way up, though. I should probably change my weapons back. Is this the kind of tower you can go in even, or is it just decorative? Maybe you can't. Okay. Um, yeah, if, if you have a Steam Deck, 
definitely check Elden Ring out on it. If you don't, you should probably get a Steam Deck or something comparable. If there's any time when, like, you're away from your home and you might win a game, or for me, I'm a, a dad, a husband, uh, I spend a lot of time, like, you know, be watching kids' movies on the couch, and I'm just, I'm not really into it, but I want to be there with my family, and I could throw on a game on the Steam Deck and feel like I'm still at least there, you know, interacting, talking. Um, I mean, if we're actually doing something, I would stop the gaming and hang out, but it's... Is that, is that dude? I should probably change my back to uh that's what These guys are not attacking me on sight. Mesmer Soldier Helm, okay, cool, cool. Mesmer Soldier Axe. Alright, I'll take it. Again, this world seems to just keep going. Like, I've, I've barely stepped off the map, but it feels like it just goes on forever. It's like a... It's like a fire dog? These kind of... I almost wonder if I... Like, the game kind of pushed me this way to, to begin with. Um... But, like, these guys are kind of wiping up pretty easily. I also want to go check out this castle. I feel like I'm not going to get that far tonight, though. I, I work really early tomorrow, so I will probably only play two or three hours this first session. And uh, the video will probably just be, like, the first... I'll try to condense it down to about an hour. I just noticed I did not refill my mana. I love this sword. It's weird that these guys are not that concerned about me. They're just chilling. Um, extra HP, maximum HP. This one I actually only use like if I'm fighting a boss. Otherwise, the Taker's cameo. This does stack with the Blasphemous Blade. I think it's. I think this is three percent. I think Blasphemous Blade like a four percent heal if I remember right. This is going back, unless they've nerfed it um, like a year ago. If I look this up, so hopefully that's still accurate. Don't take anything I say as being definitive. Uh, I love this game, but. I am not a wiki. I am a player. There's a waterfall. I couldn't get over here, could I? But was there more stuff? I can't tell. That might be the end of the world, but... You might be able to... Go down there. I don't want to jump. But like over there, I kind of feel like... Yeah, there's a boss down there. Like over here-ish. How, how do you get over there, though? stuck on the bird. I wonder if you have to go like through that waterfall area. Let's see any way down. Oh, is that another map there? Or is that a 
That's one of those crypt things, isn't it? Let's see. Did they miss it? Yeah, it's just one of those crypt things. I thought it was one of those little mapping. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can go over there. That's crazy. It, it just goes on and on. So it must push all the way to the border here. I almost fell. Alright, we're gonna go this way. See if I can get under the waterfall, like Legend of Zelda style. See what's in this little crypt kind of thing. Um, I'm gonna be a pansy. Go do my dirty work. You want to fight for me? Steel, great hammer, cool. Smithing stone, only level three. That was pretty low. Ooh, I got my first good tree fragment. This is the one that buffs me, not my mimic, which I should have used the mimic one actually while I was at the side of Greece. I didn't. So we'll do both of those in a moment. Hear something? Sound like something spawned, maybe not. I probably could have taken that guy without the uh, mimic. I've died enough in this video, you guys can stop making fun of me. I swear I'm not this bad. This game's actually. Like, I beat the base game, I beat all the hidden bosses. Like, this shit is like way harder than I remember. I guess that's the point. It's just like, you beat the game, you're level 150, now start the real game. Some of these guys are not tough at all, though. It's kind of... Blessing of America. Have I seen that Blessing of America before? Again, so I can sort the order of acquisition. I didn't look at I, I found some new crafting stuff. I didn't check it out yet. I'm like having a lot of trouble finding the new things. So many. Does it put it at the bottom? Yeah, okay. Completely restores HP and heals all ailments. Okay. So it's like, um... So can I put this on my bar like I would my flask? But I'm assuming this is like a one-time use. Doesn't restore, probably. I forgot how to put it on my quick bar. Oh, it's here. Okay. Yeah, because they have a weight. So now it's there. I don't know if I, I don't want to actually want to use that, though. I need to find out if those are one-time use. I'm assuming they are. But you know what they say about assumptions. Was there anything else back here? Am I at the end of the road this way? I feel like there should be a way to go deeper. It does not look like it. 
Alright. I mean, it seems like there should be some way to get over here. Maybe you have to go... I needed to figure out how to get up there, so maybe you have to go through there and then around, maybe? I don't know. That's part of the puzzle of these games, is just like, how the hell do I get from here to there when you're first starting out? If this is anything like Zelda, there should be a secret path under the waterfall. I'm not seeing it. I'm not going to jump down there. Well, I feel like I might have exhausted this little loop here. Maybe if I... Oh, there was that... Okay, there's a bridge over here. I can probably come around here and then I'll be up and maybe there's a way around that way. We're going to... I'm going to travel over here. We're going to use my scud things. I'm not going to fight that fire boss yet. I feel like I need to get some more of them first. But let's go ahead. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's not going to let me right. I, so I wasn't sure... Like, if I was going to get to pick something, but it just seems like it's like a number that's going up, which... I don't see that there's any reason not to do them. Right? Okay, so I, I couldn't remember what I had on here. Significantly negates damage and eliminate all FP consumption. Yeah, I'll have to play around with that. I, I can't remember why I was using the no HP one. I think or I did no MP one. Um, I got a couple of great runes I never used. Let's see if there's anything new. Alright, we're gonna run past the fire asshole. And maybe try to go and loop around here, or do I want to go check out this castle if I can get to it? It almost looks like the castle is blocked off, though, doesn't it? Oh, there's a cave. There's a cave, there's a cave. You know, I see a cave. I gotta go in the cave. What is that? The Secret Tower Painting. Or, I don't remember paintings even being a thing in the original, right? Is that... Is there a painting that are maps, maybe? So like a whole new like collecting paintings now. I definitely don't remember that. Where did they even go? Did I miss it? I feel like I'm having so much trouble finding things because there's so many things after beating the base game. And again, I thought there was supposed to be Yeah, like, I, I ordered it by... I don't know. About, about... Okay. Reminiscence of the painting The Secret Tower. Same end using it. The soul of the painter and the vestige of the dead's last moments can be discovered by visiting the location depicted. So I wonder if I, like, go where you see uh, the sacred tower, something happens, maybe?
That's my guess. I'm sure there's already a wiki article on it. I saw someone had uh, a whole YouTube video of like their entire playthrough already and just like, okay, you had to have gotten this early then. There's no way you did this in like the couple of hours the game's been out. Yeah, those guys. I kind of do want to. These are giving pretty decent uh, payouts there. I didn't notice I already had 100,000 runes. I don't think that's enough to even level up, but might want to be careful not to die. I wonder, I didn't notice how many the uh, one boss guy I fought gave me. But these might be as good as that Mogwin farm that everyone does. I get a video on the channel where you can I think I could do like 12 million an hour, something like that. Oh, there was a thing here. Black hand blade, okay. I'm not gonna spend all this time in my inventory. I really wanna keep exploring and my bedtime is fast approaching. So we're gonna just push on and then later when I'm on the Steam Deck, I'll take uh, more time examining things. I don't want to get too close to Fire Bitch over there. I got the bridges further down. Those guys look fun. A little war going on. Wonder if I could uh, drop down over here. Kind of looks like it might be possible. Mm, no, I don't think so. Not without dying. The sense of exploration in this game, the base game and the expansion, is just insane. Like, it it feels like this untouched world. Like, I know this is made by, um, you know, real people, developers, but like, it it really feels like this um, world gone by. Like, um, it reminds me of a book series I read, uh, the Dark Tower series by uh, Stephen King, which is a little less fantasy like it is fantastical um, but it's like a, a parallel world that has seen better days to put it lately and um, and the gunslinger um, who resides there oh shit I got a thing shooting at me I'm just picking up everything. I don't really want to stop. Broken rune. I didn't look closely at any of that stuff. Ooh, is this another sketch tree? Nice! I should just run around and find as many of those as I can. And pick up the uh, grace sites. I haven't seen a grace site in a minute, actually. It's weird. You'd think there'd be one past that bridge. I'm getting chased. Like, there's the two down there. I think I can jump in that water. I kinda wanna try, but I also have like 100,000 runes right now. I don't feel like getting stuck. Alright, we're gonna do it. Silver Firefly. More stuff hidden behind waterfalls. Nice. It's maybe one of my favorite like video game tropes. Feels like there should have been more back there, though. I don't think I want to open, though. How can I get out of here without losing all my runes?
And again, like, I don't know how the difficulty scales here. Like, I might run into an enemy that one-shots me, like the fire giant did. The thing up there, can I... Kind of just running around at this point looking for cool stuff, not even looking for fights necessarily. They threw fire at me. Not cool. Alright, another low smithing stone that I don't really need. DC got three of them though, that's not, not too bad. And they are introducing a lot of weapons that you're probably going to have to take from level one all the way up. But if I remember right, I've got a shit ton of those earlier ones. Yeah, I got the somber. Somber. Maybe I need more of the early ones, actually. One, two, three. Yeah, I got not as many as I thought I did. We're continuing to explore. Who's that? I thought that was a an enemy for a minute there. I bet one of them are gonna pop out and try to murder me. One of them is gonna be a real enemy. What's this? How have I still not found a race site? It's kind of what I'm looking for so that I can... I guess this could be another one of those fog rift catacombs. Oh, it's an actual dungeon. Should I... Do I want to go explore? I guess I kind of do. Oh, there's a map right there. I'll just remember that when I get out. Next side of grace. Okay. So if I if I find this difficult, I can just peace out. How many do I need to level up so I'm not running around with a hundred thousand? Two sixty at this point. I'm already at level one eighty eight. Takes forever to level up now. What are you? What are you? What? Ow. All right, not too, not too bad. They have cool animation though. I wonder how big. This seems like one of those kind of smaller dungeons. Sometimes these are some of the most annoying ones. The guy's on the wall. Oh, fuck! That's some... That's some asshole design right there. There's like no way... You could have seen that. So... It just all comes down. Will it run him over? Oh, I was very close to getting hit by that. Shit. He just like hops and stab, like murder stabs you. Is that a bird? Where'd the spikies go? Okay, so it's that big ass honking thing. I almost wonder if I can jump on top of it and ride it up like an elevator. But it's kind of hard to... It comes down fast, too. Yeah, there's no way to get on top of that. Okay. It was a, a thought. 
kind of expecting to come through here and like three of those guys to to hop down. I do have a little bit of uh, range magic attack here. My mana is limited, though. I really need to probably get a little bit more mana and, and maybe adjust my potions. I also need to look at that uh, Blessing of America. Is that a permanent thing or a... I'm not so sure if I'm going to get through this whole dungeon in one go. Yellow, vulgar bloom. I don't think... I think most of these are newer... Um, concoction, newer uh, reagents and stuff. Like, I don't remember a lot of these. It's almost midnight. I'm going to get up. Fuck! Oh shit, that like tracks you. Get get up, get up, get up, get up. Yeah. I got the angle now, bitch. I love the range on this thing. It's one of my favorite. Just like pick off the the really far away enemy. Now I can't get him again. Is that a Got him. There's a thing down here, it's probably a trap. Oh god damn it, I hate when I'm right. At least he didn't immediately jump out. At least he was kind enough to wait. We're gonna see, like, can I discharge them? It would help if I wasn't hitting the, the walls constantly. Ancient Dragon Knight's Cookbook. Well, that sounds fun. I think uh, you have to take those somewhere, don't you? Like the vendors. Okay, so I came down that way. I gotta go this way. Okay, I I was right. Oh god. Is that this is where I came in, is it not? Okay. Right this Oh god. It's another one of those assholes. Another one. I love how the taker stuff heals you even if you um, did not use like your sword, like you get the healing benefit. Regardless, there's an item over there. I don't, want, I don't care what it is. I need it. Oh, I almost like, fell to my death. I think. No, oh, can't get to him. Damn it! Oh, mother effer. We kind of know the layout here. I think we can do this. All 
All right, so we do kind of know what's going on now. So we know we can kind of like charge them after the initial bullshit. And we know that's going to happen. Is it going to... Yeah, it's good, like a second. Uh, wizard asshole. I kind of hate the how you how you aim your spells sometimes. Feels like I was locked on, and then when I found the corner, it just it, it unlocked. Thing that will um, maximum stamina, intelligence, strength, freezes, focus. So I can lower FP. Okay, yeah, did, I thought I had something that gave me FP, so... Uh, yeah, I think I'll use it instead of that one. A little bit less max, but I uh, get some mana back. I don't remember, I don't think it's a great deal, though. Yeah, it's like a little tiny squiggle, but if I can manage to kill enemies without using mana, it does build up over time. Alright, so we know... Uh, oh, this is the fire guy. Yep, that's right. You know, we can kind of play around with the stairs here on this guy if we can angle it right and not get screwed by the angle. Nope, I lost him. Okay. Use the mana. Right, I thought he was dead. Should have known better. Okay, so to the right were the hidden guys, but I got the items that were over there. It's kind of glowing though. What's the glow about? Is that my 100,000 runes? How did they get over there? No, it's the... Okay, so that regens. It looked like the runes for some reason. So the thing's going to come down, and then I can jump on it. I'm going to sprint over here. I'm going to murder this guy. All right, he's dead. And then what killed me? That fire guy did, right? Do I want to go back for that item and risk... Some bullshit death. Oh, I did. I should put these. I kind of wonder if I can just charge him. Okay. So you dodge the first attack. 
Not resin. Okay. That's not what I wanted. There's also an item down below, but I don't want to risk falling to my death. I'm waiting for like the... Waha! We got you. Okay, so this is where I came through. I see a light up here. Okay, we got some, we got some guys. My man is half full, so I could use. You know what? We're gonna do a little bit of cheese in here. I don't really know what we're up against here. I'm not above cheesing though. Oh, that guy's big. Oh, he's gonna one-shot me. Oh, that almost one-shot me. <sighs> okay, he didn't drop anything, but he had a big goddamn axe there, didn't he? gonna go and switch back to the Blasphemous Blade. I love the AoE on that uh, Relic Sword. That's the one you get for the Elden Beast at the end of the game. I'm almost out of mana, so I gotta be a little cautious. What is that? That seemed like a bigger thing, right? Is it just a fake out at the end here? Ghost, great ghost glove wart. Okay. Is that... whole order of acquisition thing oh it's okay it's one of these what level was it I don't, I don't know if I noticed can I must have been one I already had this is to upgrade your ash okay wait no it's strength ash is 2 plus 10 oh well, that's nifty. Is that... Hmm. I can't remember what my ash was at. So is that... Oh, there's a... There's something up there. I did not mean to click that. I wonder how you get up there. I, like, I feel like... Yeah, I can't teleport out. And this is back at the beginning where the thing came down. I kind of wonder... Oh. Okay. Let's trigger it. Let's jump on. I told you this goes somewhere. Okay. Was there any... No, I don't see anywhere else to go. I don't want to die because I don't want to go through all this again. Okay, 
Okay, so this is... That's where I got the... the grave... Glow wart. Black Knight Commander. That's the guy with the big hammer. Very cool. Yeah. Summons the spirit of Black Knight Commander Andreas. That's cool. That's cool. I usually use the Mimic tier, though. But I should play around with more of these for sure. That, that would have been pretty easy to miss, I feel. So is there not, uh, like a full-blown boss in here, I, I take it? Like, I feel like that's... Oh, don't die. Okay, thought that was gonna be too far. I kind of feel like, um... Like, that's the end of it, right? You know what, I, there was that elevator that I could have gone uh, below, and I bet there's something there. So I feel like there's got to be a boss here. There's always a boss at the end of these things. I feel like I'm gypped if there's not. That's it. Yeah, it was this one, right? So I need to go over here, and then, yep. There's more down here. I bet I can drop down or something. This my... Okay. How do I not die here, though? Because I'm going to drop down and then immediately get squished. Okay. Roll, roll, roll. This is not where I've been already, right? Can open like a other way down maybe. I'm always reluctant about there's maybe it's this is where that guy jumps down to you earlier, isn't it? Like, yeah, I killed the guy there. Okay. This is just another way to get... Yeah. I'm not a big fan of ladders. They tend to fall. Okay. So I'm going to have to run across, right? Don't see any enemies. I do need to get that pickup, though. I thought I heard a guy coming at me. And again, this is not the initial elevator I took, I don't think. Okay, I feel like I'm getting close to a boss or something. Let's see, I got five blasts. I just had to Google, and this Blessing of America is like a one time and it is gone. But I think I may just take it off because I'm going to accidentally use it. I, I don't know, I just don't want to... Yeah. If I do get to a boss, I am, I'm going to use my ashes. I'm just going to say that. These guys aren't too bad as long as they don't get the jump on you, like literally. I knew there was going to be a second one. 
Oh, they do a fire thing. I didn't know that. I'm getting a little bit of health and mana back. Miss Blade, you are my best friend. Okay. I'm kind of low on mana, and I'm like kind of afraid I might need it. So I think I might just charge that guy. And except I'm afraid there could be another one around the corner there. Yep. Got that. Sweet health and mana back. Oh, is he? Oh, that's I got a lot of range. Oh, and they bounce too. That's fun. I bet there's spiky things here too. I just have a feeling there are. Oh, there's spiky things all the way across. That's oh, and that does a lot of damage. That's fun. That's that's a lot of fun. So, are there alcoves? There's always. Yep, there's alcoves. Okay. I'm trying to trigger the thing to know like how close I can get. So I'm just getting my ass kicked here. I think I'm just gonna run for that first alcove and hope I can do it. Oh, that was very close. Shit, shit. I did not mean to use my potion there. That was a waste. Okay, so there's a caster guy in the middle. Who's too far to probably aim at with my meager spell power here. Plus I'm low on mana. He's protected by two guards. Guess we're just going for this. Oh, oh, oh my god. That was unexpected bullshit. I, I really was thinking that was going to kill me. This guy's got a lot of health. Not so much damage, though. Nice, Mark Lowart. For real, I thought that was one of those like instant fall to your deaths. I was about to, like, alright, I'm done for the night. Thank you, I'm good. But thank... Thank God. Miyazaki was kind enough to, uh, to not go with that. Except... What? What is going on? I can't... I can't get out. I did not... I did not know, uh... The poops could fall on you. I suppose that's good to know. It was like eating me. That was disturbing. I've got a decent cadence right now. As long as I can kind of just keep up. Alright, caster. Two casters. I don't know if I can charge. Or the other one's gonna...
Okay. So I feel like that guy I can I can roll up on. Thought I could. Oh. Where'd you come from? Are there any poops? Oh, there's three poops over there. Oh, that is devious. If I would have rushed that one, those three poops would have landed on me. But look, they're on the item there. So how do I... How do I get over there? Do I... Make them drop without landing on me? Can I, like... Ooh, it was a spell, too. You know what? I'm just... I don't know if I feel like I need to kill you guys. There's still one up there, too. And we're just gonna... We're gonna leave them be. They're slow. Got limited mana here. Don't want to take more damage than I need to. Was that a new spell? I don't remember if that was in the base game or not. Alright, am I back? Where am I at? Where am I? I've, I've cleared here, clearly. Yeah, okay. I know where I'm at. I think. Maybe. Yep, here's that long room again. So I've cleared the first alcove. The second alcove's a drop. Got three guys. Three potions. One wonderful physics. I got my range. Maybe I'll have that ready to go in case I need to... Need that. All right, we're going for it. We're going for it. Okay. Now this next one, I can't go all the way in the alcove because, of course. Is there another alcove? I think there is. just run up there? I think I do. So I feel like if these guys, if you get the jump on them, they're not so bad. It's like when you give them time uh, to get in your face. Nope, I'm out of mana too. Shadow Realm Rune. That's probably a shit ton of runes, I would guess. Wasn't there... Here we are. I was really hoping that wasn't like a one... one-shot kill thing or some bullshit. I see bullshit a lot, but... These games, for the most part, it's... Usually when you die, you learn something. There are a couple of moments where it's like that. I was so close there, I would have learned. Uh, don't forget about the spikes. Is there another... There's a hall, okay. Shit. Okay, I don't see... I don't see any enemies. So let's just run across... Do I go for the item or do I run across and come back? We're gonna run all the way across.
broken room. I have no idea what that is. We are going deeper. Getting a drink here. Get my drink on. I feel like I am approaching the boss. Yeah, there's a Statue of America or whatever, right? Okay, we made it. We did it, boys. First mini dungeon thingy. Done. Do I want... So I don't really have much mana left. I got one mana pool. I got no mana pool. I thought I had one potion left. This will give me one free cast of something, right? Was that what it was? Restores FP. Wait, nope. Eliminates all FP consumption. I think that's only one spell, but it's been a while. So I'll use that, and then I'll try to spam my uh, special. Oh. It is more than one, but this guy is pounding me. That's alright. We respond right out there, right? I think that gives me everything back, right? Please. Yeah. Thank, thank God for Steaks of America. This was Demon Souls, which I beat not too long ago. This would be a different story, and it does give you all your stuff back, which is nice. Do I want to cheese him? Or do I want to try to do it legit? We're going to try to do it legit. And if I'm not successful, I may... I may cheese this. Oh, he's got like a lightning thing. That's fun. He's a very fast attacker. Oh, he's gonna hit me with that lightning in the face, isn't he? He's got a lot more wind-ups than I was expecting. Yep. Okay, okay. It's alright. We got this. Alright, so I've kind of got a basic strategy down using um, a summon to distract him using uh, some lightning resistance gear and the great uh, relic sword and uh, it stuns him a little bit, the sacred relic sword. Uh, the problem is I need more of those scud tree things. This guy is like one two shotting me. Some of his attacks, uh, like if he does his, yep that might kill me right there. Uh, if he does that lightning while I'm summoning, he can almost kill me. Like, I don't even have time to roll out of the way. So even, like, the summoning is not a guarantee here. And I'm just waiting for my, uh, Mimic to, uh, get some aggro here. And then I'm gonna try, hopefully, to stunlock him a little bit, at least. And the annoying thing is, he's got this, um, like, death knight thing where he grabs you, and he will, like, steal almost all of your health, full heal, even from, like, 20%, he almost full heals. It's kind of ridiculous. This is actually looking okay at the moment. I don't want to jinx myself. Oh, nice. My death knight did his... And then my buddy did his version of the Relic Sword. It's looking possible. I think I got it. Holy shit. That was like... That was like... <sighs> Ten tries, probably. Death Knight Twin Axe is nice. Crimson Amber Medallion. Is that going to be like an even bigger... Yeah, so I used that and that in the end. Uh, crimson. Yeah, look at that. So the base one takes me from 1772 to 1878, 1913, 1949. That's uh, like a 300 health boost. I'm pop that on for the moment. And then I don't need the resistance one. I, I pop those on kind of when I need them. Uh, usually I run like the Taker's cameo. 
or if I need some FP to FP1. That's kind of what I'm looking at right now. Uh, I'm curious about that Twin Axe, though. So it does 100, but it's also got some Lightning on there. I mean, it's a lot less damage. I don't have it updated at all. It's Strength, Dex, Faith. That's actually a nice combination. I'm just curious about the animation. So it gives you that, uh, kind of like... I, I wonder with an enemy there if it does something cooler. Very fast. If I uh, take off... Oh! So if I if I do my R2, which now I'm out of mana, do R2 and then immediately, or excuse me, L2, immediately R2, the lightning like sticks with you while you do your um, like your roundhouse attack. There, that's cool. I think uh, that's the end of it. It's kind of creepy. I don't see anything else to grab in here. All right. I think this might be my stopping point. I meant to play for about an hour. I probably played for about three hours, and I'll cut this video down to about two if I can. Um, yeah, I think uh, I think I might be uh, might be done for the evening. Maybe I'll go grab that one uh, map fragment just so I can. Unlock a little bit more of the map here. If it's possible. Ooh, that is a bear. Remember the big bear in the base Elden Ring? That is kind of frightening. further away from it now. Maybe you gotta go... I'm gonna give this about 60 seconds. If I don't find it, I'm probably done for the night. It's like in the other side, but there's like enough fog here. It's really hard to... Okay, that's where I just, just went through. Yeah. You must have to go around. Okay, well, I'm going to talk while I'm, I'm heading there. Uh, I'm impressed with it so far. I don't know if I love kind of the artificial resetting of the difficulty, like the scud tree thing. It almost feels like they're pushing you to run around for the first, you know, uh, hour of your game time searching for these things before you do anything else. And uh, I don't know if I'm all about that. Like, I, I'm obviously going to keep playing, but I don't know if I like the kind of arbitrary secondary leveling system and basically making everything just 10 times harder than the base game and then you are like slowly um, building back up your power through the scud tree things so uh, I, I gotta put more time with it but okay those uh, are the trolls um, definitely difficulty is is way higher um, out of the gate, but I feel like probably as you get deeper in, it's probably more manageable. Here's that thing I was looking for earlier. Uh, beautiful, beautiful world. Um, it's just mesmerizing and scary, and the atmosphere is amazing. It makes me want to explore it. It's, it's, yeah, it's from software. What is that up there? Uh, but I'm going to end it here. If, if I don't, I'm going to keep playing this all night and I do have to get up for work in not too many hours. So uh, I do want to thank you for watching. I will probably do some follow up videos as I progress, maybe uh, other kind of sites of interest. And uh, if you like what I'm doing, please like, subscribe, uh, drop me a comment with your thoughts and just have a good night, everybody.